What's up guys, it's your boy Anime Analyst here, aka the Young Jiggy Ninja, and welcome to another episode of Naruto Ninja Knowledge. Today, I'll be analyzing Orochimaru's Curse Seal technique. Also known as Junjutsu, curse seal techniques are a type of technique that when applied, they can cause various effects such as transformations, sealings, and bindings. This was first seen in Naruto Manga Chapter 49 titled Coward, when Orochimaru branded Sasuke with the curse mark in the forest of death. This was in the tuning exams. I remember this clearly and I was like, yo, what is that, man? Like, what did Orochimaru do to Sasuke? It kind of reminded me of a Harry Potter as type deal. Now, Orochimaru's curse mark technique is a transformation variant of curse mark it allows a recipient to use orochimaru's chakra in conjunction with their own and it basically allows them to inherit a shape-shifting quality as seen on the likes of people like sasuke uchiha and kimimaru so when the curse mark is first acquired, the user cannot control the power it brings. It just takes over them. So when it activates, it grows off the user's chakra and it replaces it with Orochimaru's own Senjutsu chakra. So a lot of the users use it as a backup source of chakra when they're running low on their own chakra. They kind of tap into the curse mark and just let Orochimaru's Senjutsu chakra take over. The more the person uses the curse seal's power, the more it synchronizes with their body and that actually causes an increase in their base form's powers. All right, with all that being said, let's actually talk about the origin of this curse mark's power. Now, the main component of the curse mark's creation relied on Orochimaru's subordinate, Jugo clan's Kekai Genkai. Now, Jugo's clan possesses the natural ability to absorb nature energy from their surroundings due to their special bodies. Note that all this nature energy causes constant berserk rampages as you've seen with the early beginning screen time that we saw with Jugo. Their bodies also secrete a special fluid that when mixed with nature energy, it creates a drastic physical alteration to their body called Sage Transformation, which increases their physical abilities similar to Sage Mode, plus it allows them to undergo like shape-shifting feats. Via experimenting with Jugo, Orochimaru isolated the enzymes from Jugo's special fluid and applied his own Senjutsu chakra to create the curse mark that he uses now. As you all know, Orochimaru applies the curse seal by biting the recipient's neck. This is actually the same method that the White Snake Sage of Ryuchi Cave or Ryuchi Cave uses when it's injecting nature chakra into people in order to teach them sage jutsu. He bites them to inject them with nature chakra and if they can survive that test, he deems them worthy of being able to be taught sage jutsu. So it's kind of interesting that Orochimaru's mannerisms are reminiscent of the White Snake Sage. Now, right off the bat, those given the curse mark have access to the infamous curse mark level one, where the specific curse seal designs, it basically glows and spreads across the, the user's body. We all know that because it was, it looked raw in part one. I remember when I saw that, I was like, dang, bro. Like when it lit up and glows, it just looks awesome. Next, there is curse mark level two. Now, level two can be achieved through the use of the mind awakening pill created by Orochimaru. This drug, it increases the user's base form and severely increases the curse marks infection until it reaches level two killing the person in the process now in order to prevent permanent death the barrier technique for black fogs formation is used to keep the person undisturbed and safe while their body goes up and gets accustomed to the curse mark level two level two is the actual transformation stage of the curse here the user's body physically changes and they gain the recognizable yellow irises the black sclerae altered skin color and they get the longer hair be wary though in this state the seal eats away at the mind and personality of the user if you use it too long and it basically allows orochimaru to influence you more now it's common sense that the body suffers on a greater level than the previous curse mark level because their body is actually being mutated by the curse mark like sasuke he grows wings out his back uh kimimaru starts growing bones out his body even though that doesn't really affect him because he has that uh osteo kekai genkai that allows him to use the bones but besides the point regular people that shit is gonna fuck up your body because your body is normal and it's having all that mutant shit happen to it quick little note i don't know if you guys have ever wondered this but like 
I've always wondered and was confused why Sasuke's eyes turn yellow when he used the curse mark sometimes. You could have saw that like the first Final Valley fight, like when Sasuke, his eye turned like, like he had the yellow irises and then the black sclerae. I didn't know why that had happened to him. Like I thought it was some type of Orochimaru type shit, but I actually realized that this is just one of the traits of curse mark level two's progression, but you rarely see it on Sasuke because his Sharingan is always activated so i literally forgot that the curse mark level two does that to the back of your eyes and your eye color because most of the time you never see it on sasuke because he has a shotting gun activated so that's really what it was i just want to add this technically sasuke since he's been using the curse mark he's been using some form of senjutsu chakra since part one a lot of people always thought naruto had a one-up on sasuke just because of his use of senjutsu chakra but we really never recognized that sasuke was using senjutsu chakra all the time that he was using the curse mark in part one that's crazy man next orochimaru has stated that there is a 10 percent compatibility rate for the curse seal now if the user's body isn't compatible they'll simply just die now that's crazy considering 10 percent is a really low percent and that's like a really high death rate for those who aren't compatible now i'm pretty sure there's more who've died than those who've been successful and it should also be noted that if a user is compatible with the curse seal they are also compatible with jugo's flesh and chakra transfer so if jugo's on your side and he needs to transfer you some flesh because you got fucked up or he needs to transfer you some chakra you won't be negatively affected by his transfer it should also be noted that even if the cursed individual doesn't use the curse mark it still grows dormant within them as time goes by this can be seen with anko once the seal is acquired it is extremely hard to remove the leaf village has only tried to subdue the curse mark rather than just outright remove it the only times where the curse mark has been fully removed is when orochimaru's consciousness is removed from the person's body because there are fragments of his consciousness in every seal now the only time this this curse like curse marks were removed was when itachi used the totsuka blade and then when sasuke used the evil releasing method on anko those are the only times when the curse mark has been taken off now as you guys all know again orochimaru's transformation curse marks come in different varieties the most infamous curse mark the fan favorite the curse seal of heaven this is what anko and sasuke formerly possessed it's a design of a mitsu domo which is like a three-way tomo that is said to be representative of the threefold division of man earth and sky in the shinto religion there is also the curse seal of earth which kimimaro possessed and it is said to be the equal of the curse seal of heaven the sound four also have their own unique curse marks that are lower in power than those mentioned earlier those are kind of like fodder curse marks like it doesn't really matter finally to throw a last bit of information at you guys you should all know that the curse seals that orochimaru places on people can also be considered contributions to his immortality considering that a piece of orochimaru's consciousness exists in each one so even if orochimaru is, gets fucked up and he basically perishes he's always gonna be alive and his consciousness is always gonna be there as long as he has the curse mark existent on somebody so that's how he was revived uh during the war he was revived from anko's curse mark the evil releasing technique i'm pretty sure so yeah that concludes today's episode of ninja knowledge if you enjoyed the video or learned something new please be sure to leave a like it's greatly appreciated be sure to check out the previous episode of naruto ninja knowledge covering the susano if you have not subscribe for more naruto ninja knowledge and thank you guys for watching i'm out of here peace